It's easy to create Six Sigma charts and projects using the QI macros for Excel. All you have to do is get some data, select it with your mouse, click on one of our chart wizards or other buttons to create a chart, and bingo, you get the chart automatically. It's just that simple. So here's some data from the Automotive Industry Action Group. These are diameters of something, who knows. And they have an upper spec and a lower spec. I recommend for manufacturing, click on histograms, capability, and choose capability suite. It'll go ahead and create the appropriate kind of control chart. It'll prompt you for upper and lower spec limits. And then it'll go ahead and create a histogram, calculate CP and CPK, and create your entire set of charts for you. So we have a stable process, and we have a histogram, and we have a good CP and CPK. 1.8 and 1.76 are better than 5 sigma. Now in healthcare or any service industry, we might have types of errors. So here we have medication errors before and after. They've made some change. So this is the before. And all you have to do is click on Chart Wizard. The Chart Wizard will ask you if this is measured data. And you're going to say no. In this case, because it's a C chart. And it'll go create a C chart of our data. And you can see it's kind of out of control. But we could also go ahead and start doing some analysis. right? So we could take our, our data here and say, show me a Pareto chart of our baseline types of errors. So here's our types of errors. So then you could actually take this and go, wrong technique accounted for 45.1% of the error. So we could choose fishbone. Under our problem statement, it's wrong technique accounted for 45% of the error, medication errors. And if we had some sample data, we could actually choose this as being a healthcare version. And then we could create a fishbone, and it would go create our fishbone diagram for us. And we could just move or copy that into our improvement project. And so that's how simple that can be. And then we could come back after the fact and do a control chart of the whole process. And in this case, it's not measured data again. So we're going to go do another C chart. We can show our before and show our after. So here we have a vastly improved number of medication errors. And we could also come in here and show the before and after of our Pareto charts. The Pareto chart maker will do more than one Pareto chart at a time. So here's our baseline, six months and 18 months. And so that's how simple it can be to make any kind of chart and do it quickly and create improvement projects that will stand the test of time. So that's how to build projects using the QI macros. I'm Jay Arthur. You can learn more about the QI macros at qimacros.com and also take my free yellow belt training at lean six sigma yellow belt.com, L-S-S-Y-B. And that'll solve most problems that everyone faces.